God, she was right. You killed mother and very nearly killed yourself, all for a girl who you've known for less than three months. You are a selfish, callow girl. And I am the fool who trusted you. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Even though this girl's a mayfly buzzing around you with her insect ideas of right and wrong. All that life to end like this. <laughs> For what? For you. I get that you're conflicted, but I just, I don't have the brain space to deal with you being all insecure and morally ambiguous right now. Was I not supposed to want her to be better? Be good for me, Carmilla. I need the kick-ass heroic vampire girlfriend. So can you please just be that? Change for me, Carmilla. I need you to be the kind of person that helps me fight. You haven't listened to a single word I've said. Burn down everything you've ever loved for me, Carmilla. That's not fair. I didn't ask you for any of Stay away from me. Of course. Whenever you need. That's part of who I am, Laura. So is Maddie. You can't expect all of that to just evaporate because I love you. I just keep on thinking that there's right and then there's wrong and that I'm doing the right thing. But I just keep on making all of these messes. Are you seriously not done with this gnat? And this whole time I've been pushing Carmilla to be better and be good. She's a stupid, callow girl and she's gonna get us all killed. Only I'm the one that betrayed her trust. I need to tell you something. Under her shirt, Maddie wears a locket. Betrayed something she only told me to keep me safe. If she ever tries to kill you again, take the locket and crush what's inside. I swear to God, I will kill. I didn't mean for it to work out this way. What if she gets hurt or something worse? Hey, I don't know what you want me to say, Carm. Do you miss me? Everything that I've ever done to uphold what I think is right has caused so much damage. Well, what's wrong with the way that I'm telling it? And I don't want to do that anymore. Like it's your reason to like me. And I hope that you know that I never meant to sacrifice Maddie. Or you. I fought so hard trying to fix this place. I lost. I lost us everything. I feel like I lost myself. You made a mess. But Vordenberg and Maddie and I, we all had... We all had a hand in this and... You didn't do it alone.